let's all just take a moment and take in what we're seeing because I know many of you, like I said, are going to be amazed by just looking at this. Yeah, I just covered that cable with foil to the plasma, and then I did the Z and X axis wires, and I shielded that in foil, and it's all grounded back to the case. These wires, even when stuff is bolted in, are right up against that. So I thought either I had a bad board for the drivers. Okay, so let's look at this carefully, guys. Rather than save your money to do it correctly, if you don't have the funds, you basically go and jerry-rig some contraption you've built and hope, number one, it doesn't start a fire, number two, that you don't hurt yourself with electricity, and number three, let's then get done with this and then post a video on YouTube to hopefully convince others that you either know what you're doing or you know how to solve some sort of issue. I'll let you guys be the judge to that. Or the Arduino board was bad. I wasn't sure which, but... Did you hear Arduino board, guys? You're seeing a little consistency in my videos, I'm sure. We're going to spread some stuff out in a computer case I got from school. See if that... Helps us out at all. Just so everyone's aware, this is a 3D printer controller that he's tied to an Arduino, I believe. Um, guys, once again, in best practice, Arduinos are USB. They are not designed for CNC robotics use. Henceforth, everything I've discussed in previous videos about CNC controller failures dealing with Arduinos, you're seeing it again. Now it's out of the end user's mouth. Buyer beware of anything dealing with Arduino if you're buying from a vendor.